Hello everyone, Lily the Deck Harlot here. Welcome to my channel and for those returning viewers, welcome back. And just a short recap before I get into my video about the decks I've used in the month of May. Um, I'm recording this on Sunday, May 31st. And here in Eastern Ontario, we're still in stay at home orders. Although some businesses have been uh, allowed to reopen um, but it's mostly stores, so like hardware stores and fabric stores and stuff like that, where there's still, you know, people can accommodate social distancing. So as a result, um, my days have been pretty much routine and it came down to that. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of reasons to read tarot to you know to come up with readings if you know one day after the next if they're your days are pretty much all the same they're pretty predictable and my feelings were like the way I felt were pretty much on an even keel so I didn't feel the need to do a lot of readings uh, you know except for week of the re you know do a weekly reading and stuff like that or you know practicing with uh, the workbook that I've been working on so Anyway, just a short recap to tell you what's been happening with the, in my part of the world. So, on to the decks. And the first deck I'm going to be talking about is the Mystical Cat Tarot. And this is the, these are the backs. And, you know, I have to say, before I even start too, is that, um, Part of this exercise is for me to decide if I'm going to be keeping decks or not. And in May, as it turns out, all the decks I've used are pretty much winners. So there hasn't been one dud. And uh, anyway, the Mystical Cat is no exception. It, I've got really good readings out of it. I'm a cat lover, although I do not have a cat right now. But, you know, this deck can be hard hitting. It's, um, you know, as much as, you know, it's cats and it's art, it's not, it's not always cutesy. Although this is my favorite strength card. And a lot of, you know, if I'm, if you're gonna ask me to pick a favorite, this is the, the one because I find it's so true to showing, you know, fighting against your nature. But. But anyway, this is uh, this turned out to be a really good reader for me, and uh, it's one that I'm keeping in my collection. A lot of people complain about the cardstock of this deck, but for me, it's fine. So, okay, the mystical cat tarot. Next tarot deck I'm going to be talking about is the Vanessa tarot. This is the other one that I've been using. And I like, you know, I like the compact size, but it's another one of those decks that turned out to be, you know, I got really good messages, but I mean, it turned out to be a really good reader, even though the art is a little bit quirky. This artist has interesting takes on some of the meanings without you know, going too far off the right of white smith. And, you know, it's, it, some of the cards I would get and it, it would make, I'd go, oh, well, you know, it, it does touch on the meaning with a little twist. So, so that's another one that I'm keeping in my deck and Here's a card I got this month, and for some reason, I look at this card and I think of Barack Obama. So, but here's another card, and that's the Vanessa Tarot. No, oh, I didn't show the back, but here they are. Now I'm going to talk about the Oracle decks I've been using, which were two, and the first one I'm going to talk about is the Language of Flowers. And, you know, it's pretty straightforward. 
you get a, you know, you get the picture of the flower, the name, and some keywords. And, you know, it's pretty decent. And actually, when it comes to plant decks now is, I think, it, one of my requirements is that they have keywords. I, I can't see the point of giving me a picture and then telling me to go research it to figure out what it means. <laughs> so, defeats the purpose. And it's a fun little deck. So these are the backs. And the next deck that I used is the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette, Colette Byrne Reed. Now apparently the, I think this is, well, this is one of the first editions. And as I understand it, what I've been hearing is that they've changed some of the cards in your editions and they removed the gilding, which is one way of saying, of knowing you're not getting the first one. So, but these are the backs. And, you know, this was another one of those, those uh, decks that I enjoyed and that was pretty good for me. Good, you know, good keywords, although it does have, a, you know, quite a nice little deck. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, little guidebook with several messages that you can pick from. Um, let, well, let me just pull it out here. Like it has, here's a little deck. It has the essential meaning, the oracle's message, a relationship message, prosperity message, and a protection message. So. Although the way I've been using it is I've been using the essential meaning, which is pretty obvious from, from the keywords. Now I have to say that the art in this is not really my cup of tea. It, it's okay. But I mean, didn't stop it from giving me good readings. So, Wisdom of the Oracle. Now the next deck I'm just going to mention a little bit because I've been using, I've been working on the 20 work, 20 week workbook by Benavelle Wen, and that's the Spirit Keeper Tarot, and this is the Vitruvian edition, and man, she's got a lot of layers in each in each of these cards. But I'm learning a lot. I'm in week eight. And I mean, she is one super talented lady. And the knowledge is breathtaking. You know, she, she packed a lot of symbolism. Sometimes, to me, I have to admit, some of it makes sense. Other times, it's I'll have to work on it. But I have been able to do some readings, you know, just pulling the cards without looking at the guidebook. So because, it, you know, because she does, you know, did put in like right away Smith and uh, Marseille and Todd. Now, the next couple of things I'm just going to mention briefly is my acquisitions. Um, I'm still waiting for some Kickstarter decks to come in, and my buying actually has been pretty main, uh, tame in, during the uh, pandemic and the stay at home orders. I did back one or two Kickstarters, but I've actually you know, it's not as bad as I thought I could have been. Another deck that I just received yesterday from, because uh, I ordered it through a uh, local bookstore here, or actually my friend ordered it for me. And it came in yesterday, so I went to pick it up, and it's still in its, in its shrink wrap. 
and it's the Shadowland Tarot, which I've been looking forward to getting. And, you know, it's, it's one of those decks that I think I've been looking at some of the reviews and some of the, uh, some of the walks, some of the walkthroughs, but I like to be surprised, so I kind of keep those to a limit. And I've met the artist already here in the, at a Kingston conference twice, so I will. I've been looking forward to this deck, and I'm looking forward to diving into it, or at least opening it and starting to read the book. So, and I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope you you had a good month and I'll wish you a good day until next time.